ka o fela ga rona re lakatsa ho ba le tokologo ma emong a rona a chelete bo ngata ba rona ge batla ho atleha mesebetsing ya rona ho re re tsebe ho fumana megolo e bona halang re tla re gone ho ba le bokamoso bo chats ha ga batla ho atleha joang ka pa joang re tloka ho dula re sebetsa ka thata Nena le hong la ka jeno re bua ka pali ya mosadi eo ma emo a hae a bophelo a ileng a motlobella hore a etse dikoloto hore a tsebe ho phidisa le lapa la hae fela o ne a ikemiseditse ho sebetsa ka thata go ntlafatsa ma emo a hae a chelete ha o tle pali ya hae mona le nane hong la ka jeno la rents with sense melang ke nna marona khweli ya le amohelang le nane hong le leng hape la rens with sense mo ri buang ka maemo a rona a chelete ka jona ri bua le baba lwa manyati ya iphumanang a le dikolotong tsengata ho leka ho hlokomela ba le lapa la hae fela we ikemiseditse ho sebetsa ka thata ho ntlafatsa bophelo ba hae ha o kopaneng le yena go utlwe ka maemo a hae a bophelo I am from Eastern Cape, PD, at Nobumba location. I'm a single parent. I've got one child. I'm working currently. I'm working under SAPS at National National Intervention Unit as an admin clerk. Le ha baba lo a sa tswe le lapeng le na leng bogoni ha kalo. Batswa di ba hae ba entse sohle se matleng a bona ho netefatsa hore bana ba bona ba fumana thuto ene pa hetseng. Ah, I'm from poor family, ne? My both my parents was uneducated. My late father that he passed away 2003. He was a mine worker and my mom she was selling the pineapples next to the tar road. to help my father because he was in and so a lot of money but what i like uh, what i like from my parents uh, they uh, send us to school whereas they was not uh, they were not uh, educated but they know that the education is very important to us so i went to school i started my grade r in pd at nobumba location to, up until grade 12 When I finish a uh, grade 12 I didn't pass uh, with exemption or distinction I was just pass with the school leaving Le ha ba ba lwa ane a batla ho tswelisa dithuto tsa hae pele ho ila nka qeto ya o fumana mosebetsi hore a tsebe ho hlokomela batswa di ba hae When I finish high school at grade 12 in 1999 my father was already retrenched from uh, Jobek as a mine worker so uh, he was at home not working so it was only my mom was working selling the pineapples next to the tar road so i decided to come over to uh, cape town to my brother that he was already in cape town when i got in cape town 1999 to stay with my brother it wasn't easy for me to get a job I had to go to ask my aunt to help me looking for a job because the Cape Town it was a big city to me also because most I've never been in Cape Town before. I was also scared of uh, not to know maybe where I'm going but my aunt helped me to find a job. Asking friends and family to help you to find work can can certainly be beneficial because it highlights the importance of of using your network. And many of us don't they always recognize the value that we actually have in our network when we talk about networking we think we've got a you know we think of networking in terms of of knowing so many you know, uh, business owners or so many CEOs or so many uh, well known people but in actual fact our own networks are normally very powerful so it it is about linking into not just people that are successful but people that can connect you with other people because that's the value of networking the value of networking is in tapping into the connections that other people can provide and in babalwa's case we see a very good example 
of using your network to your advantage. It's, it's often been said that success is not dependent on, on what you know, it's on who you know. And, and we often see that as a negative, but there's, there's a lot of truth in that. The who you know in this instance is about using your network. Mangwane wa hae wila mufuma nela musebeti wa ushatwa di jana reshtu ranting maani moze kapa. I was uh, a dishwasher. Ne? I was uh, working uh, the night shift only. It was started uh, starting on uh, 4 p.m. 1600 hours late till 12 o'clock. I got promoted uh, 2005 when the manager he decided to open other branch in Devonville. So I became as a chef. I became a chef by being curious when the chef are cooking. I was always uh, standing next to them and watch what they're doing and see how they mix stuff to, uh, to cook. So when I was, when he decided to open that branch, he took me as a mentor to those new stuff because he left the old stuff with that uh, restaurant that was in Seapoint. If any employer or boss was asked what you look for in a worker, they're going to talk about hard work, they're going to talk about determination, they're going to talk about perseverance, and they're also going to talk about somebody who's hungry or willing to learn. Now, people that are willing to learn uh, also tend to be humble people. You know, they have a humility about themselves, uh, and what that, what that means is they admit that they've got gaps, and they have a desire to close those gaps. But once they've closed those gaps, they now have an additional set of skills. They have an additional set of competencies that they didn't have in the beginning. And that's how they grow. <laughs> One a sheba hore di peitsa teng di sebetsa joang. Me ka lebaka la hore o ne a sebetsa ka thata. O ile a iphumana a se a phahamisitswe mo sebetseng. Ha e ba le wena o batla o atleha bophelong ba hao. Ela dintlha tsena tse latelang hloko. Ni se to da o verela. Di dibeni. Batu bazula ho ndirani ya uvelera. Bati babu fogoli na bukoni havo. Bafurufezea kabukoni na butari havo. Ngauri bati ba uri ndivu ndishitangu chamanda. Divani zinena toda usikerera. Divani unena toda usika kabuchiro. Zinena toda uita na zinena toda usikerera. Nisi na chipikwa ni dokundero uverera. Nisongo licha uguda. Lipasi litula lichiku ushanduka. Hone nifanera uime zana nalo. Uzulera uba na zinena nga guda. Labele sani zineba ngwebaita. Uvuzi sani arari nisafesezi. Ita nindo wendowe uitera urini nisongo anga zena guda. Zulera ni uba na buti imiseri. Batu wano hana zikara zwa mshumo aba veli panda kandira ya zibuya. Nadi imisera, vangwa bado zibona, kutamorwanu, ruto wanambu yero. Chau pezi sera, tusani bobangwe. Arari nadi imisera utanganeza na ututuweza bangwe. Bato ni itanga oraro obo. Udivani duba linena duto davo tuso. Uno, tusane unena ngakona. Arari na isa panda kandira ya uvelera. Mingaita mashireni akwine. Uwana nyeri chezo inji zitu sao. Iyani karendwithscience.co.za na utevera siyatar la shula Facebook. Dintlatsa bo hlokwa e le ka nnete. Ha holo joang ha o batla gore merero ya hao e atlehe. Ba bala wila fumana mosebetsi wa o hlatswa dijana ga shuranteng ya mani motsekapa. 
me yaba o katella a kuwa musebezi wa ho ba chef mono emba dintho di letsa foto ha go utlwe go go etsa etseng ha go kitla papatso gale a mohela hape ho rents with sense lena ne ho le sa tshabeng ho bua ka chelete ka jono re bua ka bohlokwa ba ho ikemisetsa ho sebetsa ka thata le ho leka ka hohle ho fetola maemo a rona a chelete re bua le baba lwa manyati me ya ileng a qetella a kena ka haga dikoloto tsengata a leka ho phidisa le lapala haye emba ho ikemiseditse ho sebetsa ka thata ho netefatsa hore ho fumana ka tlego maemong a haye a chelete ka mora ho qeta dithuto tsa haya tsa sehlopa sa leshome ba balwa o ile a fumana mo sebetsi wa go hlatswa di jana restauranteng e mane mo tsekapa mo a ileng a qetella e ba chef te ka mo madimabi dintho ha di a mo tsamaela ka mogwa o a neng a lebelletse in 2005 the owner of the restaurant he decided to sell his restaurant to the new owner the new owner he came with his staff and then as i was a chef he said you've got his own chef so i haven't got the space now to for working for that new owner so for me it was tough luck so he said uh, i must go find a job he wasn't have a space uh, for me le ha ho lahlehelwa ke mosebetsi e le ntho e buima ha holo Baba lo ona a ikemiseditse ho atleha. Mi wi la iphumanela mo sebetsi o mong ka moga nako e sa fediseng pelo. When I lost that job, I became as a domestic worker. I had to go first become as a cleaner in in Vasco. It was MG um cleaning company. Where uh, this uh owner of this uh cleaning company she took us and dropped to the house maybe two girls to clean that house uh fortunately met the lady that was called Krista so i spoke to her private that i want to work for her because even that uh mg cleaning uh company that lady she was uh giving us a little money so i decided now to speak uh, to speak with krista privately and ask if i can work for her and then she said it's fine she will come back to me and then luckily she found me to come start to work for her i was so happy for working for this lady i was earning a little bit more money it was 120 per day but i was working for her for only 2 days but i also ask her to find me more friends or whatever her family members and then she got me two ladies a sister and other friend of hers so now it was uh, i was working for four days a week i was sometimes sending the money to my mom because i'm the only one who's working my brother is not working and then my sister she's married and then she's also not working So sometimes I had to send money to my mom because she wasn't even pay that government pension money. Mo sebetsi wa baba alwa o ile wa qala ho mo imela. Now I've got those body pains and then I decided now to find another job because it was uh, too hard for me. And then I decided now to also to uh, uh, start looking for a job again from the papers and also asking the people to help me looking for a job. All our choices require courage. And so we we may find ourselves in a situation that's not ideal. It's not of our choosing. So if you look at Babalva working as a domestic worker that was great she got that job there she's faced with a choice. Now it's the same with any of us. We we find ourselves in a a dead end job, a job that's not going anywhere. whether it's regard to our, our wealth our health doesn't matter what it is we we've got choices we can accept it we can change it what gets us to to jump and take the risk well i guess is uh, one of the things is we 
you know, we, we weigh up the consequences of both taking the decision and not taking that decision. So in Babawa's case, she must have thought through, well, if I, if I stay and I don't take the opportunity, what's going to happen? But if I jump, what becomes possible for me? What becomes, uh, what opens up to me? Um, and, and, and so that's a useful thing to do in a scenario like that, is really just to, to think it through in our minds, uh, what it makes possible, what it opens up. Uma ufuna ukuyega umsebenzi wakho. Qinisekela ukuthi uyakwazi ukwenzani. Ungafaki isaziso okanye incwadi yokuyega. Ngaphambi kokuba usayine isivumelwano. Uthole usuku lakho lokuqala kumphathi wakho omusha. Uma usuthulile umsebenzi wakho omusha. Bese uthatha isinqumo sokuthi uyayeka kumsebenzi wakho okuwo manje. Qinisekela ukuthi uyotshela umphathi wakho kuqala. Ufuna umkashi wakho ezengawe kuqala hayi ngomunye walabo osebenza nawe uma wazisa umkashi wakho khuluma ngobuciko nangobunoma faka isaziso sokuyeka yileyo naleyo nkampani inendlela esebenza ngayo uma ufaka isaziso sokuyeka umsebenzi thola ukuthi unesikhathi esingakanani ulandele umthetho wenkampani Noma usufagile ingwati, kubega wenze umsebenzi wako ngendlela elindeleki. Unga yegi ugu wenza umsebenzi wako ngoba uyahamu. Ugu zelwani obuse buzo kupumele lisa isi kati esi ite. Klinisega uguti uzipata ngendlela efane. Ugu tola gabanzi, varashela urenzwithsense.co.za upinde ungene ku Facebook. Obem tibi munye non parati we rends with sense. Din katza bo shokwa elegan neat. Haulo juang hao bata ho fetu la musevizi wa hao. Ebalo na ha peka mora papas. Haru to bua katzela eo baba alwa aiza maile kulong ba. Ushabelete rends with sense. Lenane hole buwanga taulo enkle ya chelete. Loho rereka khona hufuma na toko loho juang ma emong arona a chelete. Kaja nori tuta ka mekwa ya ho netefata ho rereba lebo kamo sopo chati. Ma baapi le ma emo arona a chelete. Rutwa ka pali ya baba alwa manyati. Ya ikemi sedite yung ho sebe ta katata ho leka ho feto la ma emo ahaye a chelete. Le hai puma na ali di kolotong tengat. Eka ba 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 lo ochon le hufuma na musevedi omo choto fatang. On Sundays I was always going to church, always going to church. Now I met a friend in church that she was educated. She was she has a diploma from Pentec. So she motivated me to start uh, to study this uh, computer course. And then I started the computer course uh, July 2008. Baba la wila yin. Im pasena hai. I also felt motivated to do that computer course because I was also thinking of my baby, the baby that I was carrying. So I took my friend's advice to do that computer course. I continued the course while I was pregnant. I remember on that 4th of October, I was supposed to write the MS Word, but I couldn't write because I had to go to Tiger Bird to go uh, give birth my child. But now I had to bring the certificate when I came back, and then they gave me a chance to write again that MS Word. After I finished the computer course, now my baby was born, and then I asked my mom to come over to take my child to Eastern Cape. She was only one month born, 
and then now my mom she came to fetch it by month end of uh, November. Now I go back. I was only I didn't even stay uh, for that three months for maternity leave to being at home because I haven't got money enough money. So I decided to only I uh, took one month stay at home after my baby born. Hoba <laughs> Go bisa madi go khudisa bana. Gape, fa o tsa maternity leave e o isa dueleng. O tlo go tlhoka madi a mantsi. Fa o batla go eketsa madi a o wa kholang. O tshwanetse go eketsa mmerepo o o dirang. Fa o sabati dilo ya bobedi. Le ka go eketsa dilo ya gago go mmerepo. Motlhala, fa o bereka magae o tlhekisa matlo a batho. O ka ba kopa go sheba bana, go tsa go thusa ka tshimo. Gore ba eketse duelo ya gago. Dira bo nnete ba gore ba go duelela nako le mmereko o o dirileng. Gape o dire gore o boloka madi a. Haona go khona go boloka madi fa o sa kwale motlhala wa dikoloto tsa gago tsotlhe. Sheba makwalo a gago a banka. O bone gore o dirisa madi a gago ka. Fa o ka dira se o tla khona go bona gore madi a gago a dirisiwa ja. Fokotsa tiriso ya madi. Fa o kwala motlhala wa gore o dirisa madi jang. Sheba gore ke di ife dilo tse o di tlokang. Mme o di tsinye mo tikatikanyo ya gago ya madi. Fokotsa tse o sa di tlhoke. Ipele maikemi setso. Fa o batla go tsaya maternity leave wa kgweditse thaba. Gape o batla go boloka mogolo wa kgweditse thaba. Bo ke bi ke mi setso ba gago. La tele la tiriso le poloko ya madi a gago. O tla ikutlwa o atlegile fa o fitlheletse maikemisetso a gago. A tla go botloetsa gore o dule o laola tsa gago tsa madi. Fa o batla dimitla ya go rentswithsense.co.za o re batle gape mo Facebook. Dintla tsa o boloka tse bohlokwa e le ka nnete. Ha go khutlele paleng ya babanwa. Ya neng a batla ho iphumanela mo sebetsi o ka mo tswelang molemo. Hore a tsebe ho hudisa ngwana wa gae hantle. After I got this after I finished that uh, computer course and then now my baby who was took by my mom to Eastern Cape. I was starting looking for a job when I got my certificate. My friend helped me look over internet and from the papers. In May 2009, I saw a lot of post vacancies in government and the subs. And there's one uh, as an admin clerk. Then I decided to apply even online. I finally got a job. They, I finally got a, a call that I must go for the interview on the 20th of August. I wasn't even think of maybe I would be still called to the interview because it was long time already because I applied for that post. It was May, but now I was only called on August. I went to the interview. Even on the interview, it was a panel interview but my friend motivated me and then he, she said to me, I will make it, let me try, I'll never know my luck. So I just told myself, let me go whether I will make it or not, but I've got that trust and that faith, then I made it. Kale shoho nol, baba lo wila ipuma nela musebezi, waho ba Edmund Clegg, akho la chelete emu khots ofatang, ebo na halang hufeta pili. Empa joalo ka ba bangata ba rona. Ba ba lwa liena, ona le maikarabelo a mangata a hlokang chelete. 
e ba le gona ka moga papatsi bo utlwe gore go etsa etse ena ke rents with sense lena ne ho le buang ka chelete le megwa e metle ya ho isebedisa le ho elaola ka jeno re bua ka bohlokwa ba ho ikemisetsa le ho sebetsa ka thata ho netefatsa hore ge ba le bokamoso bo botle ma emong a rona a chelete ka jeno re bua le ba ba lwa manyati me ya ileng a sokola ho fumana mo sebetsi o mo patalang hantle empaka jeno o iphumana ele admin clerk me o gola chelete e bona halang ha o utlwe hore ho fumana mo golo o bona halang ho fetotse bophelo ba ha e jwa from my first wages i got so excited so i decided to open a clothing account and i was also i had this dream of i want to buy myself a, a house because i was staying on the in the shack Finally, I find the house. I moved in into my house on 2012, on the 11th of September. It was nice being the owner of the house now, not a shack. Now my life also changed, but now the expenses now become more because now I'm staying in the house. I must pay water, all of that stuff. My debts have become too much. because I'm working as an admin clerk I thought I'll be able to pay uh, my debts but now as more times as times goes on I had a lot of responsibility like now to sending money for my mom and also to buy some sort of stuff for my child for my for my child together with my deceased brother's children My current debt now is almost a uh, 100,000 rand. 35,000 rand for credit card that I took to pay the transfer fees for my house and the standard bank attorneys that they helped me to get the house. The home loan at uh, 2.2 a month. and the credit card I paid uh, I arranged with them to pay 500 rand now a month otherwise I was supposed to pay 1.3 but I made an arrangement of paying 500 rand a month in cash not them to take that now the reason why the credit card also went uh, that much I was also paying UNISA because I'm studying at UNISA so as a social worker That's why at the moment I uh, I don't have a passport to pay my uh, school fees so I decided to use that credit card to pay it 479 as for macro 375 rand is for shit street uh 475 rand is for a comments 500 rand is for true worth and 205 it's for american swiss a rage it's 269 what they say i'm on i'm on areas after uh, after the deduction i left with 1000 rand then i take a uh, 350 to pay my child a uh, a uh, school transport and then the rest I'm doing the grocery I made it because there are things that I was unable to buy when I was a domestic worker now for me it was easy to get anything because I was earning much more money even when I'm going to the shop with my pay slip they just check my pay slip they say now I qualified ma bankele ba bohlale ha holo ibile ba tseba ho hohela ba reke hore ba reke dintho tseo ba batlang hore ba direke ke tsena dikeletso tse ka o thusang hore o seke wa wela le ga beng lena la boga ma bankele
Maak een lijst van alles wat je nodig hebt voor jij gaan inkopies doen. En hou daarbij. Maak zeker dat jouw inkopielijst net die producten insluit wat jij rarig nodig hebt. Moet niet dat mooie productuitstallings jou verleiden. nie. Winkeluitleg wordt zo so beplan dat je voorbij al die lekkernijen en mooie producten moet loop voor jij bij die goedkoper benodigde komt. Money voor die muziek val niet. Winkel speel muziek met die doel om jouw tijd in die winkel meer aangenaam te maken en om jou in een goede lijn te krijgen. Mensen wat in een goede bui is, spandeer baie keer meer geld. Zo so voer jij bij je winkel instap, niet omdat jij jouw gunsteling liggen wil, denk weer, want hulle speel op jouw gevoelens. Blij dus gefocus op jouw begroting. Die verkoopsverteenwoordiger is niet jouw vriend. Nie. Een goede verkoopsverteenwoordiger is gewoon een baie aangenaam en zal jouw vertrouwen proberen wen. Onthou, hulle wil niet jouw vriend wees nie. Hulle doen net hulle werk. So moet niet skroom om ferm, maar met respect, nie een dankie te sê nie. En lastens, moet niet koop as jy dit niet kan bekostig nie. Moet niet dink dat jy dit sommer net op jou kredietkaart of op rekening kan koop nie. Die gouwe reel is, als je dit die contant kan koop nie, los dit. Dit is die enigste manier waarop jij Rams with Sands kan hee. Voor meer inzichtgevende wenken, bezoek ons webtuiste randswithsense.co.za en volg ons op Facebook. Celebrity din katsen, hoor u doele ooit a rands with sense. O pelo baba ba lo ha bobo no lo ho hang. Empa wi kemi se di tse ho fuma na katleho le ha ana li di kolo to tse ngat. My dreams. Is to, be, uh, is to pass my degree, to become a social worker. I think it will help me to get, uh, to get more money and then I'll pay uh, all my debts. And then I'll make sure now I will never ever make any more debts. Genere batla ho thusa ba balwa hore a tsebe ho etsa leano la ho lefa dikoloto tsa hae ka o fela ha o bone ho go etsa etseng pakeng tsa hae le debt counselor ya rona Welcome Baboa I'm so proud of how far you've come with the limited resources that you have but there's still one thing standing in the way of your financial freedom and that's your debt Tell me about your debt. Uh, these are the clothing shops. I throw with a uh, shit start. Something that I'm noticing here mm -hmm. is that there are two two wheels accounts. Yes. And both of them are still closed. Why aren't you opening the accounts? I didn't open because I knew that is... It's just asking for money. Oh, they yes. want money. Yes, so which I knew that I owe them. So when I've got money, I'm going to go pay them. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is to always Always open these accounts. Open it. Make sure that it is only a statement. Have you read that? The account is overdue and it's giving you a date as to when your account has to be paid. Your payment date is due no later than. Mm -hmm. But you didn't see this, so you didn't know that they'd given you a date by which to pay. So it's not necessarily that they say, they're sending you this letter and they say pay. Mm -hmm. Creditors are also wanting to assist you to paying. So these sort of notices are important and if you ignore these, then sooner or later in one of these envelopes, you are going to get a letter that says to you, we are now taking legal action against you. Okay. There we go. Right. You are on track. You've got a job. You've got an income. You're studying. You are on track to making and building a better life for yourself. But you've got the problem, which is debt. Do you know how much you owe everybody? Not really. Not really. No, no, no. 
what you've got to do is this. We've got to go through with Sheet Street, American Swiss. And then we've got a rage, which we don't know. We add up all of these. Without rage, did you know that these debts add up to nearly 12,500 Rand? Yeah, that's a lot. Yes, and it's there. But because you don't open the envelopes, you don't know what your debt is. Because you don't write it down, you don't know what your debt is. Kala ba kala di kolo to di di tsinye helo tsuo se tsu baba lo aneng anale tsuo. Na ebe reta kona hu tusa baba lo hu nete fa tsa hore u fuma na kat eho bu pilong ba hai. Hu tla kebo ne kamo ra papa. Kale amuhela hape mona ho rends with sense. Le nano ho le buang ka bulukulu hika ma emo arona achelet. Kajo no rebona ho re ho sebetsa ka thata le ho ikemisetsa. Ho ka netefatsa ho re redula re letseleng ya ka tleho ma emong arona achelet. Ho utlwa ka pale ya baba alwa manyati. Ya ikemiseditseng ho sebetsa ka thata ho leka ho fetola ma emo a hae achelet. Le ha iphumana a le dikolotong tsengata. Ha o bona ho khwetsa etseng pakeng tsa hae le debt counselor ya rona. So, this month without rage, you have to pay your creditors this month, your retail creditors 5600 rand you need to pay your creditors. What is your income? Some other month is 7.3, some other month is 8,000. So can we say on an average of 7.5, 7,500? Yes. Do you pay rent? No, I've got the bond. bond. Right, how much is your bond? My bond is 2,021 rand. 2,000 rand. Electricity? Electricity, it's uh, 180. Some other months is 200. Children, school? It's 400. At the Food? Almost 3,000. 2,800? Yes. Okay. Any policies that need to be paid? Funeral policy from Old Mushwa. Yes, how much? It's 130. Let's put that away for my mom, only my mom. Okay, 130 for your mom, for your brother? And my brother is 76 rand. 80 for your brother, yes. For me and my child, and also uh, my uh, two deceased uh, children for my brother, mm -hmm. it's um, yeah, 150. Okay. And the educational plan for my child? Yes. It's 180. Baboa, I have no more lines left on the page. We're going to another page. Anything else? Uh huh. And then the investment from Old mm -hmm. of 180. A life cover from yes. Old Mishwa, 200 to 250. Okay. Babawa, let's see here. 6,610 Rand. Those are your expenses that you have to pay every month. Your debt to your creditors mm. are 5,600 Rand. 5,600 Rand plus your expenses of 6,610. You need 12,210 Rand this month. You have 7,500 Rand, which means you are short 4,710 Rand. There is nothing less a left month for me by month end, to be honest. There's only nothing left because you're not sticking to the budget. Oh, I think that's my mistake. That's your mistake. Uh -huh. You're not writing it down. Mm. You can only see how much you spend mm. when you make a note of it. You must make a note of it. What you should do also, all of these accounts, 
block the account, put a hold on the account. I'm not buying anything on you. Uh -huh. Cut up your cards. Make the payments, continue to make the payments. Yes. But cut up that card. You're not going to be able to buy everything you want. But you will be able to buy things that you need. And that's the difference. That's what I want, yes. So do you think you can do this? Yes, I can do. Promise you. Can I check in with you? Yes, you can check with me anytime you want. I'm gonna do it. I'm sure you can. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can do this. The session with Mushika went well. I felt so embarrassed ne, about my uh, death. But now that I came out to speak about it, I felt so free. At the moment, it makes me feel that I can see that my future is bright, and then I also um, it's gonna also make me uh, feel to be control of my death. Kila ka kopan sa baba alwa le life coach yaron. Haru bone huru he sa itzi. Hi, Baba Alwa. Hello. It's nice to have you so much. Listen, I would like you, uh, first of all, to tell me a little bit about you. What is it that you would like to achieve from now? From now, what I would like to achieve uh, is just to pay to finish my debt. No? Yeah. As, uh, I'm a social worker student in UNISA. Okay. I would like also to pass my degree because I just want Good. to be, uh, to graduate. Okay. Yes. So you've got two goals? Yes. To clear your debt yes. and to pass your degree? Yes. Okay, your long-term goal is to be a social worker? Yes. Okay. And do you have talents? Is there something that you're good at doing? I can cook. Okay. Mm, because I've been working on the restaurant also before I was uh, being a domestic worker. I was a chef. You were a chef? Yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. But have you ever thought of, probably because now that you're a chef, you, you were a chef, so you know how to cook. Mm. So have you ever thought of maybe uh, I don't know, use that talent. You know, because I've noticed, so the one thing I've noticed in Cape Town, I haven't lived in South Africa for a long time, but there's something I love about South Africa, I have noticed there is like loads of markets everywhere. You can pro probably, you know, cook something amazing, you know, and maybe something original, you know, and maybe go one of those weekends to those markets. Is it something that you would probably be interested in doing? Yes, I hope if I can get a chance of doing that. Okay, because then, because then you have these debts because they're not gonna go away. We have to do something. I mean, we have to figure out something and you still have your studies as well, as you said. So you've got a lot, but that's the thing. You have to work hard in the beginning, but the, you know, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. You just feel like, oh my gosh, there's so much, but you have to do it, you know. I had an idea of maybe I can selling that prime meat, but now I was also looking for a, to get a brine stand. Ah. Uh, because I think the people must, because it's winter. Yeah. For the meat. So, ah, so you have an idea already. Mm. So you, you, you want to, so what's standing on your way? You need a, you, you need the, um, the, the, the actual brine stand, the yeah. brine. And what else? I was also busy still researching where are they buying the meat, those are already selling the meat, but in Kailicha, because okay. I was staying in Kailicha before yeah. I moved to Delft. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So I asked my brother's girlfriend to find out for me where are they buying the meat, Okay. so that I can put my stand and sell the meat there in Delft. Okay. So you have options. To me it sounds like you have a lot of options. But I must still go ask the permission there by the taxi rank if maybe I can put my stand there. Okay. Uh -huh. And whom? Uh, to whom do you ask the I permission? No, I must still go find out. Okay. Uh -huh. So you're going to ask for permission and if they're telling you uh, you have to go whatever, you keep on asking and then who do I talk to? So don't give up. Don't close that door. You know, it's very easy to do that. You know when you knock on the door, something else puts you down and then you go, you just collapse and you sit down. Don't do that. Just find out how. And if, if you cannot go there, where can you go? 
I mean, of course, you don't have the money to get it now. Now, because maybe you get get another money from somewhere else. I don't know. Would you consider being a domestic worker for once a week again? Yes. So, and then you, you collect all that money towards doing that. So you do that, and then you save for you save to 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 get this, and then you work hard at it. You know, you really work hard at it because that debt it will be there. It's all now, it's all about you taking the action, basically. And trust me, you can do it. <laughs> You can so do it. I mean, you can. It, it, and, and the only thing that stands between you and doing it is you. For me, the life coach uh, session, it was nice. And then I got the uh, lot of advice. I've got that help. Because sometimes, most yes, I've got this lot of death in my life. Sometimes I just felt negative. And then I didn't see a way of coming through those debts. But for now that I spoke to her, I can see the way of going forward. I just want to thank uh, the team and the life coach for giving me the advice and then to make me, uh, because they advice, they make me feel that I can do it. And for now, I'm not going to feel myself negative now anymore. Ma Afrika Borra, salamani.